you're going to try and kill Kyle Sampson today. And Billy Lewis is going to take over Sampson Industries. That means Billy is involved in the plot, too. Mindy's reception. That's where it's going to happen. My God, I'm not too late. So what? He respects tradition, doesn't he? Hey, tradition, yes. Shaving cream? No. Oh, look, I think that one's theirs. Let's go find out. Rich. Did I hear something in the truck? Sounds like some, 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 somebody's in there. Somebody's I'll, in there. I'll get my, uh, no, my go ahead. Wait, 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 no, 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 come here. Hello? Hello, and then listen, we hear you. We're going to get you out. Hold on. Henry, Henry. Hurry up. Okay, it's okay. Are you okay? Shh. It's okay. Oh Suzanne, Suzanne, what happened? Are you all right? Easy. Oh, help her. He's okay. Get that on. Get that on. Suzanne, it's okay. It's all right. Suzanne, Suzanne. Are you all right? David, I've got to find David. Wait, get him. I guess, uh, I guess we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me, everybody. May I have your attention, please? Yeah. We have got a surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> Kyle's the target, Billy. Kyle. Kyle is the target, Billy. Kyle. Kyle is the target. Mr. David Preston has just presented Mindy and I with a very special wedding gift, and we'd like to share it with you. Oh, What's Preston up to now? Well, what is he? Kyle, Kyle, please just forget about him. He's not worth it. Isn't it good? <laughs> Kyle is the target, Billy. Kyle is the target. A few weeks ago at the art auction here at the Country Club, uh, the master copy of Lou Jack's new video was auctioned off. And Mr. Preston was the highest bidder. And he has just given that copy of that video to Mindy and me. Good evening. You're here for the reception. Now I'm here to make an arrest. This is about the marked money, isn't it? Now, Mindy's a little shy about this, but I think that you are like me and you'd really like to see the video, right? Yeah! Sorry, darling. You are outvoted. Let's roll this thing. Let's get the lights. I'm not sure that there isn't us anymore, India. That's not my fault. Philip, you live your life without me. You don't include me with your friends. You don't tell me what you need. What you desire. We don't even share a bedroom anymore. You shut that door with your manipulation. You're conniving and your suspicions. No. But Philip, believe me, please. 
I've wanted to change all that for a long time. It may be too late for that, India. If that's the way you feel, why have we stayed married? Maybe because I haven't been secure enough to face the truth. What is the truth? What about our future? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's in the future, India. No, because you can't get over what's happened in the past. You've never forgiven me for blackmailing you into marriage, have you? Forgiven? Maybe just forgotten. India, what's done is done. I mean, it's, it's over. It's in the past. I, it's now that bothers me. India, I'm not the same man you married. I mean, we deserved each other back then. What you did to me, I, it was just punishment for what I did to Beth and Lujak. But that game's a draw. That's finished, done. Are we? Our marriage hasn't grown. We've, we've just persevered. I only want to love you, Philip. I thought that's what I wanted, but, but I don't know what that is anymore. I know. India, we've been together out of anger, hate, resentment, and passion. We have never been together out of love. Do you want a divorce? you anything? How you doing? Fine. Thank you. Just fine. Oh, yeah? Well, you could have fooled me. I'd say crushed more like it. Desolate, maybe. Would you please leave me alone? Are you sure that's what you want? I'm quite sure. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Look here. How can I go? Being alone is the last thing in the world you want right now. And you know that as well as I do. What I know is that you are my steward and not my companion. Now, why don't you start doing your job and attend to your duties? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. What are you doing? Well, you see, you're my duty. And I'm not leaving here until I've made you feel better. Will you stop all this and just... Who's the guy in the picture? And how come he's made you feel so bad?
you're off it would be my pleasure not just yet I think I may have some use for Miss Rain after all the trouble she's caused us you know what they say nothing matches the zeal of the converted well if anyone can convert a hard case like her looking for him. Your hero's gone. He can't protect you anymore. What a loss. No more amateur spy tactics to amuse us. No more stinging wit. Stop. Stop. I wouldn't waste my tears on Fremont if I were you. You're going to need them for yourself. You're about to be as dead as he is. I don't care. Now, now, Beth, you don't mean that. I do. You don't, though. Death is very, very final. Think of what you're about to lose. Not just a friend, but everything, everyone. Think, Ben. Never to see another sunset. Never to hear another song. Smell another flower. Taste another fruit. Never to have someone's arms around you. Never to feel your heart beating fast with love. Why are you torturing me like this? Torture? Hardly. I just want to set the record straight. What record? Yours. I don't believe for a minute that you're willing to give up so much. It doesn't matter to you if I'm ready or not. You're still gonna kill me, aren't you? What do you think? <laughs> what do you want, Beth? <sighs> Life is precious to you, isn't it? So young, so innocent, and yet still willing to do battle against all odds. What drove you to fight Infinity, Beth? Whatever made you think for a minute you could possibly win? Answer me. Answer. No, please. Don't shoot! Don't shoot me! When did Zimbo turn shoot God? I can't kill my brother. When did Zimbo turn shoot God? I can't kill my brother. When did Zimbo turn shoot God? I can't kill my brother. When did Zimbo turn shoot God? I can't kill my brother. When did Zimbo turn shoot God? I can't kill my brother.
you with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Just go, please. No. I really want to be alone, please. I tell you, I'd sure like to get my hands on that creep. What are you talking about? The guy in the picture. I'd like to tear him apart for what he's done to you. Oh, Philip. Philip. Don't let him do this to you anymore. Don't let him keep hurting you. He doesn't deserve you. No, I'm... I'm the one who's not deserving. I don't believe it. It's true. I... I tried so hard for him. But in all the wrong ways. You shouldn't have to try at all. You've got nothing to prove. I mean, you're a, a sensitive, loving, full of life and fire. And so beautiful. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. And if your friend, Philip, can't see that, he's either blind or a fool or both. wasn't aimed at David. Who was it aimed at? At me. Billy was trying to kill me. Are you all right, Kyle? Yeah, I am. Thank you, H.B. You saved my life. You mean Billy was trying to shoot? Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Billy! Billy! Why, what? Daddy? Why? What happened? You shot David Preston. I shot Preston? Oh, well, God. You didn't know what well, you were I, I, doing, I, I, did you? I don't remember anything. I can't. My I, God. I shot Preston. <sighs> Thank God you're both all right. The bullet came so close. Yeah, Get a sure, pulse. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. I got a pulse. All right, send for an ambulance. Right away. Oh, yeah, we're going to need some help. All right. All right. Okay. Help me roll. Anything else? All right. Okay. Louis, you need anything? No, 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 just stay back, Fletcher, please. No exit. All right. Look. Okay, everybody, look. Get my medical bag. All right, please. It's out in the car. Please, just move back. There's nothing going on. All right. You get the I got to finish the job. What happened exactly? Did you see? No, I don't know. Ask Kyle. I, I got to kill Kyle. Uh, Largo. Unbelievable. Here we are in the midst of this foolishness, and Philip is dressed up as Cinderella's stepsister. 
They're, he's a major figure in society. The head of one of the largest foundations in the country. And he was enjoying it. No, no. He was having the time of his life. I tried. I tried to accept it. Even to participate in it to an extent. But it's just hopeless. Philip doesn't want me involved in his life anymore. Now, if he ever did, ever since we've been married, he's always turned to someone else. And right now, well, it's his college chums. They're at a wedding, and I can assure you that Philip is the one tying the tin cans on the bride and groom's car and having a ball. Not even giving me a second thought. There's something I don't understand. What? Why did you marry this Spalding guy in the first place? He obviously doesn't love you. But he could love me. If only he gave me a chance. I don't know. It's true. Philip and I have been close before many times. But each time he pulls away. Well, what can I say? He doesn't know how good he's got it. Well, that's part of the reason. What else? Well, I, um... I did tell you, um... <laughs> I have made a few mistakes in trying to force myself on him. Mistakes? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Using blackmail and aphrodisiacs to keep your lover in line. But you know, if I was Philip, I wouldn't let any of that put me off. Not at all. No, the way I see it, that just shows style. And as for me, I love a lady with style. And you do want to live. The question is, how much? Enough to leave everything behind? Enough to start a whole new life? Oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, that shouldn't be too hard for you to decide, since most of your old life is gone already, or soon will be. Jackson Fremont is not the only one of your little crew to feel the wrath of infinity. He was just the first. Everyone in Springfield who tried to get in our way will soon be eliminated, one by one. I don't believe you. You should. The great Kyle Sampson will be next. No, I'm wrong. He's already been dealt with. Soon it will be Suzette's turn. And then Lou Jacks. Oh, no, please. No, you can't. No. I can. No. I will. So you see, Beth, the time is right for a change as far as you're concerned. A new beginning. If you can transfer your allegiances, that is. I have to admit, that's one of the things about you that fascinated me. Your sense of loyalty, so pure, so righteous, hard to believe. I do believe it. And I know how much infinity needs people with that kind of devotion. You have one choice. What? It's simple. Either you give me your loyalty, or you give me your life.
Anything you can do. Not without some room to move here. All right, everybody, get back. Come on, move it back. Let's go. Come on, let me be the scene. All right, get back. Come on, give us some room. That's free. But, Lieutenant, I didn't mean to shoot May. It was supposed to be Kyle. Oh. Live, damn it. Oh. You live. Oh. I'm not finished with you yet. Oh. You're going to pay for what you did. You hear me? You I have no point in this. Let me. The man is dying. No. Yes. It's all over for me anyway. But you got to know, I was not behind this. Largo. Largo, who's Largo? Largo, the minister of death. Who's Largo? The ruler of infinity. And that's the name of that organization, Preston. Infinity. Kyle, I loved you. Loved infinity more. No. I told you all this. We all need someone to lean on from time to time. But I don't know you at all. On some level, you do. On some level, it's like we've known each other for a long, long time. You feel that too, don't you? Who are you? You'll find out. No, I'm not. Not at all. No? What's your name? Rest, sad lady. Rest. Sweet dreams. Enter the lower abdominal wall on the left side. How's this ready? All right, check her out. Save my baby. You're gonna be. <laughs> She's got peritoneal signs. They must be bleeding in the abdomen. Uh, the bullet's lodged inside. Me? Me? I'm ready. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. And you're gonna be fine too, I promise. I love you, Kyle. Me? Me, doctor. She's unconscious. She's, she's unconscious. She's so cold. All right, we're, we're going to have to raise her feet. Gentlemen, can we borrow some jackets? Yeah, right wait a minute. We'll get my car. We'll take her to the hospital in my car. Bring my car no, around. No, wait for their paramedics to arrive. Well, if she's so badly injured, every second the counts, doctor. The bullet may be next to the spine. She may end up paralyzed if we don't use the right equipment to move her. Look, nobody's leaving here until we find out who fired that second shot. I mean no one. Now, you guard the exits. You find that gun, and you start questioning these guests. Now, I want some answers, damn it, right now. Sergeant, I think you better look at this. Look, Lujic, I don't have any time right It now. might explain everything that happened here tonight. Read right here. Where'd you get this? In Preston's hotel room. If this is what I think it is, that means Billy Lewis is part of this conspiracy. He's been working with Preston all the time. Sure seems that way. Mindy, come here. It's not right. My daddy should not be handcuffed. He's no criminal. Mindy, try to calm down, all it's right? It's just a mistake. I know, It's darling. all a terrible mistake, and I can't stand to see my daddy like Listen, this. Listen, Mindy, just be calm, all right? I... Just be... 
try to become... What are you all staring at? She, get out of here! Get out of here! Mindy! Come here. Why did you do it, Billy? I got no no idea, none. I, I, I don't even remember seeing Preston. After. I ain't talking about Preston. No? Well, then, then I don't understand. I think you do, son. You had that gun aimed at your brother first, and I want to know the reason why. All right, Smith, you can take Mr. Lewis down to the station now. No! Listen, you, you, you can't arrest my husband. You don't understand. He hasn't been himself recently. He's, he doesn't know what he's doing. He, uh, he just... <laughs> something terrible has gone wrong. I know, Mrs. Lewis. You're right. It has. Does that mean that you're going to reconsider? I can't. All right, I... May I please go with him? Yes, of course you can. No, you, I won't let you take my daddy. I won't let you take him. Mindy. What about the daughter? She is just as guilty as the father. Why don't you arrest her, too? You see, you do have a choice. You can live. But only if your life becomes infinities. Make up your mind, Beth. Now. Was I wrong about you? Would you really rather die now? Like Fremont, perhaps? No. You want me to save you, then? I... Do you? Yes. Say that louder. Yes. I can't hear you, Beth. And if I can't hear you, that means there's nothing I can do for you. That means I'll have to assume yes! you don't want Please to... save me! Please save me! Good. Good. Very good. You feel better now, don't you? Yes. Better. That's because you're safe. And you will always be safe. Infinity will make sure of that. Infinity will give you everything you need. As long as you give everything back to infinity in return. Remember that always. Grossman? Yeah. Here. Take her below. Give her some clothes. Right away. You're one of us now, Ben. She's still losing a lot of blood. Set up an IV. Give her plasma aid. Yes, doctor. Blood pressure's low and dropping fast. Let's just hope we don't lose her before we get her to Cedars. You're gonna be all right, Leo. Hurry up with that IV. Let's get ready to move her. Huh? I'm so sorry. All right, get in here. You're gonna have to move out of the way. You're gonna have to move out of the way. <laughs> all right. You got her? Yeah. All right, let's get her on the stretch. Come on. Now move it in now. Move it in. Arrest Mindy? What are you talking about, lady? Easy, son. No, Lieutenant, I just think the last thing we need around here right now is some kind of a bad joke. It's no joke. Mrs. Hoffman told me that Mindy paid for this catering job in cash. Yeah, so what? She showed me the money. The bills were marked. Mark? Ma mark for what? What do you mean? They're part of Kyle Sampson's ransom money. Oh, now you're talking crazy. Mindy didn't have anything to do with Kyle Sampson's ransom money. Now, listen, lady, I don't know what you're up to, but you're not going to get away with it. There is no way on God's green earth that I'm going to let you do anything to my wife. Do you hear me? Look, I, I didn't do, have anything to do with Kyle's kidnapping. I swear I didn't. I just borrowed some of the ransom money. See, I, I found the ransom money. Look, and I, I just thought if I... I hate to do I, this, Mindy, but I've got no choice. No, wait a minute. You don't Mindy, understand. I, Mindy, you're under arrest. Wait. Pearson. Read Mrs. Cordea right. Hey, listen, no way. Nobody's going to touch my wife. Hey, Pearson, 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 keep your hands on the man. Pearson, take Pearson, it down, Booker. Stop it. 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 Stop it.
and call down to the gate, check the parking lot. You may not have gotten very far. Right away, Lieutenant. All right, look, I want you two to come down to the station with me. I want to take your statements myself. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. Okay. This has been Guiding Light. by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, and Barney's. Jewelry by Stephen Dweck. Be sure to be with us tomorrow for another full hour of Guiding Light. <laughs>